You know, I do much prefer these levels. I, I guess for the levels, I like the music in some of the previous ones. But this is, this kind of reminds me of some of the, the, the Sonic levels. I think there's, isn't there? There's Scrap Brain Zone or something. I think there's a lot of Sonic ripoffs in this game. Oh, it's got the arrows. When you're really desperate to make sure the player goes the right way, you put down a bunch of coins in the shape of arrows and tell them where to go. So clever. It's, it's one of the things you are not doing if you use Mario Maker. Like, if you actually want to learn about level design, now and you can do what I did, you can go buy Mario Maker and get involved with that, because I made some Mario Maker levels. Hey, hey Ken, why don't you, you shamelessly put up the codes for some of your Mario Maker levels. I think my cleverest level was either Fool's Gold, where uh, I used the coins for unusual effects, or uh, I might even manage to get some footage of my Mario levels. Who knows? Maybe I'll just make more work for myself in, in my little show. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't like this. They're shooting at me from thin platforms. But yeah, whereas I Mario make it. Oh, I had rapid fire. All is lost. I guess I could also talk about my uh, my brother's child. That's a thing. I've never been an uncle before. Where was I? They Mario make a level. <laughs> I think of too many things. I think of too many things at once. It's okay, I only have one mouth that can say one thing at a time. If only I had two mouths for my two brains. I have as much brains as two men. Was well, like, yeah, Mario Maker levels. And the other thing is a kind of a stealth level I made. So I, I like the idea of making stealth. So I, I figured out you could, you could uh, use the beetles because you can't jump on them. See, you have to sneak around them, and that kind of worked out too. I got one of my friends to test out the levels, and they, they didn't seem overjoyed by them, but I, I guess in some ways, when they're just sitting there playing the level, that's actually the biggest compliment they can pay. Oh, it bothers me when I hit the thing before I've explored. Oh, well. Also, yeah, also babies. My brother has a baby now. Uh, turns out baby clothes, you don't really even need much baby clothes. You just kind of, to begin with at least, when the baby is small, you just wrap them in a little kind of burrito thing. You just wrap them in a, a blanket or something. Wrap them up and it, it's a burrito baby. And uh, it's called swaddling clothes. I think back in the day, they, they used swaddling cl clothes to uh, control the growth of the baby or something. I don't know. I'm not, I don't know if they necessarily understood babies that well. Maybe we don't even understand babies that well now, you know? There's a lot going on with babies. They're complicated little guys. But, uh, apparently, early on, a baby's uh, hobbies include sleeping and uh, and puking a bit and peeing everywhere. He, he is already ruthless and cunning. Like, if you try to change him, he'll figure out just the right moment to pee everywhere. But my, my brother's really taking to it, though. Like, he's always liked babies. When he was a kid, he was uh, always kind of enthusiastic about stuff with babies in it, and I think he's going to really take to being a dad and cleaning up all that piss. And then there isn't, isn't that, that's the thing about the really important things. I think it's it's not always glamorous, you know. When you when you're looking after a baby, it's not all cool Facebook stuff. It's going to be a lot of cleaning up piss, and I'm not really doing very well at this. And the same thing goes with making a game, you know? You're not going to spend all your time up on stage going, Ha! Oh, look with me! I made the game! I'm cool! You know, there's going to be a lot of just sitting there, I don't know, exporting 42 goddamn different versions of your game because of some completely unexpected crash. That that might be a thing. You, you did put the picture up of it, right, Ken? The, the picture of proof that I tweeted earlier there? Yeah, good, good. Just Just making sure. I know you're on the ball. I know you're on the ball <laughs> listening to your own video. Where was I there? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, th th there's a lot of kind of unglamorous work behind the, the glamorous facade often. Whenever the, something is all, all put together, all neat and tidy, you can be pretty sure that somebody was just sweating away at four in the morning to make it work. Oh, I'm not keeping track of where the... 
Actually, these guys behave a lot like the the ah the monkeys in later levels. Continue. It's fine. It's fine. Don't get upset. Okay, I've lost my patience with this. I, when I'm feeling patient, I try to get a hundred percent of all the the loot. Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, whoa. Okay, it's fine. Sorry, I pressed the uh, Xbox button on my controller here, and I think it's. Yeah, very nice. I wonder why there's a 10 minute limit on these things as well. It just seems weird. Seems like it's almost an arcade game or just just something they left over from Sonic or something. Oh, this is my father. Have I mentioned Hercules in New York yet, actually? Like, this my father is a line from Hercules New York that, um,. I'll talk about that in a second, actually, because I also want to talk about the fact that it still bothers me in this game how when you die and you turn to ashes, there's a number of fairly obvious bugs surrounding it. I think you can move after you've died, like if you're just a gun lying around. You can move and I think even jump away while it fades out. And let's see. Yeah, yeah, you, you saw. You saw. You saw. If you're watching the video and not just listening to me ramble on anyway, you, you saw what happened. It's it's kind of shoddy in a way. I don't know, it's the sort of thing... I guess you... Maybe we were just more forgiving of these things in the past, you know? Remember the, back in the day, this was considered pretty slick stuff, and it was a proper popular game. Lots of people wanted it. When I went into the game store and asked for it, the game store guys were all, ha, oh, lots of people want that game. But, uh... Oh, how do I how do I get the secret secrets? Uh, okay. Yeah. Also, being able to just jump down into the unknown like that and hit something is a bit bullshitty, really. It's it's kind of fun to jump into the unknown, but you do you rely somewhat on the uh, benevolent level design. I kind of like the back look of the background in this level as well. Just oh, have I have I done it? Have I done it? No. Why can't I find my way to the uh, the secret thing? Oh, there we there we go there we go. Yeah, macho friggin' madness. Well, how come I can find the secret thing and I can't find my way to the, uh, regular exit, then? Aha. Must be new places. Even though I'm normally thorough, I'm just gonna... Okay, this is kind of amusing, actually. Okay, I'm actually amusing myself again now. This is okay. It's okay. I was sore for a little while. Now I'm okay again. Let's talk about an emotional roller coaster. I wish I had rapid fire. Actually, these look cool, too. Just the... Just the yellow static. I find... I, I don't know if everyone else is the same way, but I find if I uh, get a head rush, like you, you lie around and it's warm or something, and then you suddenly stand up. Maybe it happens more because I'm tall or something. This is, but anyway, when you get the head rush, firstly, it feels kind of awesome when you get high off your own head rush. But also, you see this yellow static. And I, I wonder if everyone sees the same yellow static. Or if maybe everyone sees their own colour, how cool would that be? What are the launchers supposed to look like, even? They kind of look like little parcels to me. They always look like little presents. Even though that makes no sense. Like, hey, robots and stuff, I got a little present for you. A present of bullets from my gun. <laughs> And they're, they're non-refundable. So there. <laughs> I'll pardon them, alright? I'll, I'll pardon them all in the face with this gun. 
that's a Danger 5 reference I just came up with. If anyone hasn't seen Danger 5, you probably could, it's lovely. It's uh, made for Australian TV, I think. And apparently they have lovely TV in Australia, because it's... It's made by the same amazing internet people who brought us Italian Spider-Man, which you should probably also see. And it's it's made to look like the 60s, and it's kind of like Thunderbirds, except really silly and fun. It's kind of hard to explain, and every episode they try to kill Hitler. And every episode they, they shoot at Hitler, and Hitler jumps out the same window in the same footage. And they, they, they have real trouble killing Hitler, I tell ya. Like, you, you know how it is. Well, particularly when something is just the basis of the whole show, you know it's gonna be impossible for the heroes to do it, you know? Like, if... if like, Bruce Banner is never gonna cure his Hulkism. He's never gonna get... Oh yeah, which reminds me. Hercules in New York. I forget if I've talked about that already. I'll, I'll just talk about it already anyway, and, and say some more words. So yeah, um, I think Arnold Schwarzenegger's first movie, when he's uh, fresh off the boat from Austria or wherever, is Hercules in New York, where he is Hercules. In fact, well, to begin with, in, in the original version, he's only the body of Hercules, but the, the voice is given by some other guy. I think he sounds all kind of, It is I, Hercules! I am strong and brave! I except probably less dumb. But anyway, and, it, and it's actually kind of inspiring in a way, because you see, when Arnold was growing up, he, uh, he, he looked at a 50s Hercules guy. Can bring up a little pic of uh, 50s Hercules. He looked at 50s Hercules and thought, I want to be that guy with the cool muscles, and I must admit, 50s Hercules had some nice pecs. He really did. So uh, um, Arnold wanted to be that. So, and then, you know, he, he goes to L.A. or whatever from Austria, and, and what does he do the moment he's off the boat? He stars as friggin' Hercules. Mwah! Just dream come true, you know? Um, what? Yes. Anyway, where was I? 50s Hercules, yeah. So, so you know, Arnold became Hercules in turn. It was nice. This is what happens a lot, really. People get inspired by their heroes to do things. Then they, they kind of go and join them in Hero Land, you know? But anyway, the, the point is, um, early on there's a scene of, uh... Oh yeah, the, the, the voiceovers, that's the thing, yeah. In Nowadays, though, the only really interesting thing about the movie is that Arnold is in it. It's an early role from him. So they've, uh, restored Arnold's original voice track. <coughs> so that you get Arnold, like, barely able to speak English. Oh dear saying his lines and so on. So there's a scene with, uh, real voice Arnold and Zeus in Olympus. I mean, I say it's Olympus, it looks and sounds suspiciously like they've just gone to the park, to be honest. But anyway, it's supposed to be Olympus. And, uh, Arnold steps on and goes, But Zeus, my father, I'm tired of the same old faces. And, uh, and that's it. So, so now pretty much my test phrase for my armor voice is a bit Zeus my father. I like to begin many things by saying Zeus my father, give me strength. I'm tired of the same old faces. So that is why I sometimes say Zeus my father. I know there's not a lot of difference between my Arnold voice and my Tommy Wiseau voice, I guess. We'll probably talk about Tommy Wiseau for a while as well, but uh, let, let's save that for later, eh? Let, let's not have... There's only so much awesomeness I can cram into one episode of Ken Rambles about video games. Except he's not even rambling about video games this time, he's rambling about obscure movies starring not-so-obscure actors. Stuff like this, just stuff like Jazz Jackrabbit and Earthworm Jim and stuff was where it was at back in the day, really. Cartoon animals, guns, space. I mean, guns and space are still in there. They're never going anywhere. Come to think of it, why do the magnets work on Jazz? Is it because he's holding on to his gun? Is that why? Or does it just not make that much sense? Because te technically, I guess they're kind of s junkyard magnets. Ah, there's, there's actually quite a few secrets if you just if you just hold your fire at the end, isn't there? 
What was, is there actually a point to the secret levels? I'm not sure there even is. I'm not sure there really is some big reward. It's just... Just secret levels. I think I'm safe here. I can... I can just chill. Oh, I see you. I see you. This is my father's shooty things. Ah. Little... Oh, oh, oh. Below, bow, below. No. Oh, oh no, it's all right, it's all right. Whoa. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Actually, maybe I was wrong. I was just saying that there wasn't really a reward for going to the secret levels. Maybe they're actually full of goodies. Ah, oh, that's tricky. Yeah. Actually, there are significant rewards. I take it back, secret levels. I doubted you. And I was proven wrong. I like how the, the goodies look different in every level, too. That was something I wanted to rip off. I basically wanted to rip off everything when I was playing it. I guess I kind of still do. It's just that now I know more things and I can rip them all off at once. Oh, here it comes. I remember this. More of that. Much, much more of whistling next time on the Ken Goes to the Meg Airbase show game level.